you know, before I'll, I'll ask you anything else, I wanted to know a little about yourself. Sure. Please tell us something about yourself. Uh, I'm a singer, songwriter, guitarist, uh, musician, and uh, composer, and a touring artist as well. So, yeah, at the moment, that's what I am. That's exactly what RN is right now. When the journey started, do you always wanted to be a part of music industry? Or, you know, uh, or music, I would say rather. Initially, like, see, I mean, like, being a singer was a dream, I think, uh, of chi- from my childhood, I wanted to be a singer, but then I didn't come out as a singer, it took me a while to come out as a singer, and uh, I'd gone to Cardiff uh, to study, I did my sport management, from uh, bachelor's in sport management from Cardiff, and then I started doing a few shows over there, like, uh, in, in pubs, bars, and everything like that, so people started coming in, they started, I mean, I got a lot of, I got a, uh, I got a bit of a recognition in uh, Cardiff, but then after that, uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted to take music seriously, uh, those sports is still a passion. I mean, I would like to work in the sport business as well. But like, then I came back to India and then I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I need to take music seriously. And then I started learning, uh, taking mentorship under Sri Kumar Mukherjee, who's my guru at the moment. And yeah, and I started taking music seriously. Then I just thought about it. Like I uh, ended up uh, making a band in uh, Calcutta. We called it the Bombay Gramophone Company. Uh, we gave credit to Bombay for all the songs that we covered. And I think most of the songs are recorded in Bombay. So we did that and uh, once that was done, we did a lot of shows for two years, we travelled around India and everything. But now I decided to go indie, so I, I wanted to write my own songs, being a John Mayer fan, like you know, I wanted to write, I wanted to explore uh, what I can do musically by myself. And hence I chose Bombay, I came to Bombay and like now, it's, it's happening, so I'm happy, music's happening. So. See, Mumbai is a, is a hub, hub for all the people who are part of the industry, Absolutely. who wanted to do something big in Bollywood. Absolutely. Uh, are you there with that aim? Uh, I want to be a big art- artist, definitely. I believe I can be so. So definitely, if I get a chance to sing in a Bollywood movie, I would. I would love to. Why not? Why not? Definitely. I mean, I have the voice for it. I believe so. Love to sing it. Little about your struggle in the in the industry. You know, I or, or instead of saying in the industry, I would say in the city. Uh, How you see might be somebody known to you yeah, yeah. staying here in Mumbai. Uh, abs- absolutely. Other I mean, like people, you know, who are stranger who come from the yeah, interiors of India and what they happened? struggle. What happened for me is like I did a show in Calcutta, uh, Hard Rock Cafe Kolkata. So what happened? One of my one event manager was very important, big event manager. I don't want to use names, uh, but he was there for the show, and uh, he happened to love it here. He went absolutely berserk about it, and it was the highest, second highest crowd uh, in the Hard Rock Cafe Kolkata after I think Papon was the highest. So I think my band was the second highest. So we saw there was like 500 people in that place, so many people cheering for me, and like it was a great show. I think it was one of the best shows we've done. And uh, what happened was like, he, he told me like, what are you doing in Calcutta? You're wasting your time, go to Bombay. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I would love to, I would love to take that opportunity. So what he made me, uh, he got me in touch with uh, uh, Mr. Ram Mishra, who was managing me. Uh, he manages Rahat Fateli Khan, Subbir, all, all these artists, a beautiful manager. But then, yeah, I mean, like he got me to, honestly, he told me to come to Bombay. That's how I came to Bombay. There is no one who will get you here. And he was like, you come to Bombay. So I came to Bombay, worked under his management for a few months. But then things didn't work out, honestly, because he didn't get what I wanted to do. And I, he, he knew exactly what I could have become as an artist, but he did not know how to do it. So I thought, I think I need to figure myself out and I, I need to do it myself. I know I'm good. I, need, I know I can grow. But I think the best way to for an artist to grow is like, firstly, by knowing himself and uh, projecting that the best way. So I ended up writing my own song. And what, what are the way I mean like the best ways to write your own song and so that people know your image know what you are know what the type of music you can do yeah yeah just right now instead this is the one you know whatever for example the current album yeah how this album happened to you and uh this this it's a single but like uh, the single basically I mean the motivation was obviously John Mayer I mean I'm a massive fan <coughs> I use his name I'm uh, since uh, since my childhood I think uh, my years I mean like I've heard good music always my father had great taste in music He's a recent singer as well, he's got a good voice, but I think I get the voice from him. Uh, so basically, he's, he uh, we used to listen to the likes of Dire Straits and uh, Bon Jovi and all these rock and roll artists and uh, things that, artists like B.B. King and everything like that. So my ears were already always open to such artists and so I grew good taste in music and these guys are greats. And then obviously John Mayer came to my life a little later. Uh, he's, according to me, he's the best singer-songwriter ever. In the past 20 years, I don't think anyone touches him. He's a He's a beautiful guitarist. He's a guitarist as well, a beautiful guitarist. So I wanted to make something like that. So uh, his song Gravity uh, really inspired me to write something like Yade because it's it's a rock ballad. It's something that is lost. It's not there in our country anymore. I wanted to bring that music back and bring that sweetness that is required in music, I think. And not everything's about dancing and moving around. Some things is just about feeling. So yeah. Are you dedicating this song to him? 
uh, to John. Yes. I, I think all my music will be dedicated to him. I love him. I love him. And you know, though the film music is released by Z, how they reacted to it? this is absolutely. Uh, I, mean, I would say it's 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 a new. Yeah. Track, I would say that we haven't. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, both. So that 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 was the idea. When I was making the song, banana was there. So I was offered by people from other channels as well, like you know, other labels. So like, sing a Punjabi song. I'll make it. It will be a hit. You and everything. But then I didn't want to do that. I mean, because it's easy. Like you become famous, but that song, I wouldn't have been able to perform it. So I explained them that they understood it. They were very nice people, and uh, I ended up not doing it. So I thought, why not? I'm going to make my own song. So I wanted to make something different, and hence this song happened. Z took it. I'm very happy, and uh, Sony agreed also. But then, uh, however, Z was finalized. So I mean, I wanted to work with Z. I wasn't uh, touched with uh, T series as well, but I'm very happy Z took it because Z is a mix of India artists and uh, Bollywood. So I wanted something like that. So I'm very happy to work with Z. How's the response? Uh, first day, forty-six thousand views. I'm very happy. Uh, yeah. What next? Uh, another song. I mean, I work on another song, and uh, I'm I'm doing my shows. Shows are happening, but like uh, since uh, this indie scene is very new to me, I need to uh, make a catalog of songs. I need to work on more songs. So I have like five, six songs that are. When I go live, I have something to show for. Definitely. Any Bollywood, song. any Bollywood actor whom you want to play back? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm a massive Ranveer Kapoor fan, so I would like to play back for him uh, one day. Definitely, why not? Thank you so much. Thank you. Works.